Hi guys, it's me. I'm back and I feel like crap tonight. Um, I did not sleep very well last night and um, <clears throat> I don't know, my allergies are just really kicking my butt. But I wanted to get this video over and done with so I thought let's just record from uh, from our bed tonight. Um, I don't have anything to show you. I don't have anything I really want to share other than just a couple of thoughts that I've had that I've been compiling over the last few days. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I'm shaking the bed. Um, so I figured I might as well get to it. As I kind of mentioned in the last video, it would be kind of like pressing for time because this is a topic that I see um, starting this time of year. Um, <clears throat> as I mentioned in other videos before, I am a teacher. So this time of year, I see um, a lot of friends on Facebook getting a little bit stressed out about what to get their child's teacher for an end of the year present. And I have a lot of friends that ask me, you know, like, do you think this is appropriate? Do you think this is inappropriate? What should I do? Um, what's the limit? Etc. So um, I know this is something I've been talking about with my fellow teachers for a while. Um, and just I've been... <clears throat> working at schools for the last 12 years. So I've gotten a lot of presents and I have some things that I think you should maybe steer away from or steer towards. But first and foremost, and again, this is something that all of the teachers that I have ever worked with um, <clears throat> all agree with, um, <clears throat> getting a gift at the end of a school year or for Christmas is not something we necessarily expect um, a lot of people will say like oh you know you're just looking for a handout or something absolutely not um, to me when I get a gift <clears throat> no matter what it may be um, it's just something that is a token of appreciation and it, it shows from the family that they appreciate the time that I have put into their child up until that point um, so <clears throat> If, if you're someone who maybe your budget is very small or it's not existent, you shouldn't ever feel pressured. Like, you absolutely have to get the teacher something because it's not necessarily true. But um, I have a couple items. Like, some of them are um, items we get a lot of that you should steer away from because it'll just be another one on the pile. Um, and some other creative ideas of gifts that I've gotten in the past that I thought were really nice. Um, the places and the things that I personally do when it comes time to buy presents for end of the year gifts. Um, because since my kids are 18 months and five, um, they come to school with me and therefore I work with their teachers. So for me, I, I do feel a little bit pressured sometimes to get, um, something really, Nice. Maybe not um, necessarily expensive, but something thoughtful and something that's going to be useful to my coworkers and their teachers. So the first thing I want to talk about um, is, well, first of all, something to remember why you should consider doing something for your child's teacher. Um, most most teachers are kind of like me, where they're a mom, maybe a dad of young kids. And um, it's, it's nice to show them how valued they are, um, saying thanks. So when I'm buying gifts <clears throat> for the teachers in my kids' lives, I, I kind of keep that in mind. What's something that they can really use that they're going to appreciate that's going to be special? So I have a little cheat sheet for me over here. Um, something we get a lot of, and I mean I must get seven of them a year between Christmas and the end of the year. Um, and like teachers appreciation just passed is candles. Um, now I do happen to like to burn candles, but when these, um, when these times of year come up, I'm always like, oh crap, I, I better start burning a candle like all night, every night, because I know I'm going to be getting more candles and I need to make room because, you know, there's only so much, so many candles my house can hold. So, um, Candles is something we get a ton of. <clears throat> so I would say if you um, want to get a candle, 
I would lean towards doing something a little more special. Um, and again, I'm someone who's very thrifty, so I don't necessarily mean something expensive. Um, me personally, my preference um, for candles would be, you know, sometimes you'll get a candle that was maybe um, from the dollar store or somewhere inexpensive. And you burn it, and it doesn't smell like anything, which is really disappointing because sometimes the wax will smell good or the um, actual name of the candle will be really promising. And then you, you burn it, and it doesn't smell like anything. And what happens to it, you wind up throwing it away because if you're like me, like I said, you have 800 candles. So if it doesn't smell good, you're just going to toss it. So my personal favorites, the things that I like to buy for presents for the teachers in my life, um, <clears throat> would be Yankee Candle, obviously. Obviously, Yankee Candle is the best bet because the wax is fantastic um, and the smell is awesome. So, I know what you're thinking, Becky. Yankee Candles are expensive. They can be expensive if you go to the Yankee Candle store. Um, however, I never pay full price for anything. So, the places that I like to get Yankee Candles, um, I'm fortunate enough to live near the Yankee Candle outlets within 10 minutes of my house. So, that might be somewhere I would check out. But generally speaking, the places I shop for things like that would be um, TJ Maxx or Marshalls. They always have the candles. They'll always have a decent size one for under $10. So if you want to go the candle route, I suggest doing that because um, it'll be a nice quality candle that the teacher in your life is going to appreciate. Um, other places where I've bought candles in the past that I think are at that level, if not above Yankee Candle, um, would be Bed, <clears throat> I always say Bed Bath & Beyond. Bed Bath & Beyond, you can get your Yankee Candles there with a coupon. Um, but um, Bath & Body Works, their White Barn candles, and even their Bath & Body Works candles, especially the Bath & Body Works scents, are absolutely delicious. They smell amazing. Even the small ones have such a great scent. And this time of year and Christmas, they're always having some sort of special on them or, um, you know, I get coupons from bed, uh, Bath and Body Works um, at least once a month. So there's always coupons for that, too. So if you're going to go the candle route, make sure you are getting a quality product and you don't have to spend an exorbitant amount of money. Please don't. We don't want anyone to spend too much money on us. Um, speaking of Bath and Body Works, lotion. I have about probably right now, currently, in my possession, 40 to 50 lotions. Um, and we get them for each of these occasions throughout the year. Um, and it's not that I don't like lotion. I love lotion. But there is no possible way for your teacher to go through that much lotion. So I think Bath and Body Works, everyone has a Bath and Body Works at their mall, so it's always an easy pick. Um, but if you want to go to Bath and Body Works, these are gifts that I like to get, that I get really jazzed about, that aren't lotions from Bath and Body Works. I like when I get the hand soaps, and they're always on sale, so you can pick up your teacher some hand soaps so they can have fancy smells in their bathroom. Um, the little hand sanitizers, especially if your teacher is a parent. They're great to have on hand. I always have my little hand sanitizers on hand. Um, as I mentioned before, the candles, because they're amazing. Um, or even the bubble bath. Their aromatherapy line is awesome. And um, one of the nicest gifts that I got <clears throat> from a parent from Bath & Body Works was their whole stress line. Their um, eucalyptus spearmint is my absolute favorite, and it's fantastic. And as I mentioned, those things are on sale this time of year. Now, if you are bent on getting a lotion, um, <clears throat> again, I love TJ Maxx and Marshalls, Nordstrom Rack also, and they always have um, brands like Philosophy or um, The Body Shop. So they tend to be a little more expensive than Bath & Body Works, but if you get them at those discount retailers, sometimes you can even get a gift set. Um, you're going to probably spend less than you would at Bath & Body Works, and then you're giving the teacher in your life um, a fancier gift. So um, if you want to kind of take it up a notch, I suggest that. Um, I love, personally, when I get Body Shop 
or um, philosophy stuff because it's just um, it's it's a little more special. Um, and I'm like, oh yeah, I get to take a bath. So nice. Um, mugs. Every year I have to cycle through mugs and really go through and see what I have to get rid of because that is another item we get so much of. So mugs, to be honest, I would avoid altogether because it, it does turn into a storage issue for your, your teacher in their cabinet. Unless, this little caveat, and um, it kind of goes along with this whole next category. Um, gifts that I absolutely love and generally um, don't cost a whole lot, especially since it seems like we all seem to know someone who does this, um, maybe on the side for extra money. Um, personalized items. <clears throat> Boy, do I appreciate and love getting personalized items. Um, personalized with my name, perhaps. Personalized with their child name and the year I had them. Um, and I've gotten many personalized gifts and just a few that I'll mention to you just to give you some ideas if you're looking for ideas for that type of thing. Um, I've gotten water bottles with my name on it. I've gotten um, tumblers with my name on it. Um, <clears throat> I've gotten wine glasses with my name on it. And like, you know, a funny little saying. Um, I've gotten keychains with my name on it and the child's name on it. Um, I have one from a girl a few years ago that I just I keep on my keychain, and it's just such a sweet memory of her that I get to look at all the time. Um, picture frames, if you can sneak a picture with your child and the teacher. Um, those little things are, are things that don't really cost a whole lot, but will really make a big impact. Um, at Christmas time, I've gotten many ornaments <clears throat> that have my name or something with the child's name in the year personalized on it and every year I get more and um, I joke with my husband you know like one year we're gonna have just a teacher tree with all of these um, teacher ornaments but <clears throat> those to me are so special because it's, it's something that whenever I pull it out or wear or whatever um, <clears throat> that it's it's just really something special from your child that you put some thought into. And as I said, those are generally not expensive. I have a friend that makes stuff in um, $10-ish, maybe $15, depending on exactly on what you're getting. And it's just something really, really thoughtful. Um, <clears throat> something I love to get, and it is something that doesn't have to be expensive at all, and it's something that is going to be useful to your child's teacher, and that would be school supplies. Some of my favorite gifts that I've gotten, um, and I'm running low on these, so I hope somebody else thinks of it soon, um, was I've gotten like a, like a whole bag full of different shape and colored post-its. Listen, teachers are post-it crazy. We love having post-its for each and every section of our lives at school, so it um, that is something that... Um, we look forward to when we get and we will use for sure. Um, I'm sure you could probably get good prices on stuff even on Amazon or something like that. Um, another thing that I look forward to is Sharpies. I have a giant box of Sharpies. I'm constantly using Sharpies. So getting a pack of fun um, colored or multicolored Sharpies is something we really do geek out about and we love. Um, so things like that, always appreciated. Um, uh, something else, we're easy. We like food. Um, if you bake cookies, if you bake the cake. Um, one year I had a mom, she made me this most fantastic chocolate fudge. Um, and I would say if you know your child's teacher well, if you've built up a rapport, a gift I've gotten once or twice has been a bottle of wine, which is really appreciated because it's saying like to your teacher, like, hey, kick back on me, relax on me. I know you work hard. Um, so if you have that kind of relationship with your child's teacher, you might want to ask someone in the administration um, if that's something that's allowed because you don't want to get your teacher in trouble. Um, but that is something I've received before and has been a, a really cool gift. Um, jewelry. 
is always something appreciated. Um, something that I bought for my kids' teachers last year. Um, I was at Nordstrom Rack, and they had Alex and Amy bracelets there, and they were a very original price. They were in my budget for what I wanted to spend for the teachers. So you can get things like that. Um, I've also gotten Alex and Annie and charm bracelet type things um, that were like teacher themed. They were really, really cute that I like to wear for the end of the year and the beginning of the year. Um, so that's always something that we like also. Um, theme gifts. Some of my favorite gifts have been theme gifts. It's usually some sort of summer theme. So um, one example of that would be like a beach theme. So last year, one of my parents gave me a little pair of flip-flops. Um, a beach towel at a magazine, which I thought was really, really cute. And something like, hey, you know, go relax on the beach, even though I work all summer. Um, but the thought was there. It was very nice. Um, and another year I had gotten, like, a picnic basket theme gift. Again, just kind of like little plastic glasses and plastic silverware. Um, maybe some cloth napkins. Stuff like that is really, really cool. And you could go to a place like Dollar General and put something like that together and not really have to spend a whole lot of money. And it's something that your child teachers can be like, oh, wow, they really put thought into this. How sweet. And it's really appreciated. Um, now, there's um, the rest of us who um, I, I never try to give this, like I said, because um, my I work at the school where my kids are. So I always try to get um, an object. But... Obviously, if you're busy but you still want to show your appreciation, gift cards always are more than appreciated. Um, and the places that I like the most and that my teacher friends seem to like the most, um, coffee-related ones, obviously Dunkin' Donuts and Starbucks. Starbucks being like the more uh, fancy of the two and you're like, ooh, Starbucks because Starbucks is expensive, guys. It's, it's a really big treat when you get a Starbucks one. Um, Target is usually a good one for, um, like, retail stuff. Um, I've gotten Macy's before. Macy's is a pretty good one. Um, <clears throat> another one I've gotten um, that I like is iTunes. I mean, if you happen to see what kind of a phone your, your child teacher has, if they have an iPhone, because you can use the iTunes for anything, for music, for games, for whatever you want, so that's a good one, and they sell those everywhere. These most of these are ones you can get at any retailer. Um, when in doubt, obviously a Visa or a MasterCard um, gift card, or you know, cash is always more than appreciated. Um, I know me personally, I usually any gift cards I get that are um, like retail or money oriented, I try to save away. Um, maybe for the next time my family has some sort of a trip so that we have it and it's some extra money that we could have. Um, <clears throat> but again, I, I try to cover all different kinds of budgets. And there are times when, yeah, maybe your budget is zero for this teacher. That is okay. Um, no teacher would ever want you to take food out of your child's mouth to get them a gift because... Um, we don't get into this profession for the money, obviously. We get into it for the kids. So um, if you don't have money, and this sounds cliche, and we all say it because it is so true. My hair is falling out. Uh, um, but we love handwritten cards from you, depending on how old your child is, if they can write a note, um, or if they can even just write a signature. Um I have pictures that were drawn from me from 10 years ago from kids um, just with something like I love you and, and you're special or thank you so much. It really is something um, that we treasure. And like I said, you know, I, everyone I talk to says the same thing. It's not about um, showing off with your teacher um, or, you know, that we feel we, we want, we need, we deserve to be lavished with gifts. No. Um, but I think as a parent and as a teacher also, um, it's important to let the people that are with your kids know that you appreciate them. So whatever you're thinking, 
I hope I gave you a couple of really good options to think about. Um, and <clears throat> another question I hear a lot, just really briefly, is when to stop? Um, when do you have to stop giving your um, kids teacher's gifts? I think you're going to know what's, what's appropriate, um, maybe after elementary school. Personally, I think at the end of the year, a $5 Starbucks gift card or Dunkin' Donuts gift card for an older kid's teacher would really um, be a pleasant surprise. Um, I get a lot of questions about who. Um, if you're going to give a teacher um, a, a present, you should definitely get the aid a present. If, if there's an aid in your child's classroom or aids, um, what's appropriate for that depends on your relationship with that aid or what your child's relationship with that aid is. Um, if your child is someone that receives special services, like from a speech therapist or an OT or something, again, something small, just a token of your appreciation. I know that they are always so excited and so floored when they come to visit our kids and we have something waiting there for them. So if any of you guys have any other questions or kind of like um, just want to know what the etiquette on some of this stuff is, um, let me know. I'm happy to help. And um, again, the take home to this, don't ever feel pressured that you have to do something. But... Um, Whatever you can do or are willing to do is always so, so, so appreciated. And for me, um, it really just reminds me how much you're appreciated because sometimes it feels like um, you're not appreciated that much. And sometimes like days like today when I'm tired and I've had a long night with my own kids and, you know, it. It helps motivate you knowing that you are making a difference in the lives of your kids because they're not just your students, they're your kids. Um, hopefully, I will have some content for you for next week. Um, I think I'm just going to go to sleep. So thanks for watching. Good night.